good evening children you are all warmly welcome to avada studio so today we are going to learn the next family so belong to the dicotyledonous that is a solanaceae we are going to see okay so solanaceae is otherwise called that is a potato family or nightshade family okay so solanaceae is otherwise called that is a potato family or nightshade family okay so we know very well that is your so potato brinjal tomato these are all belongs to that family okay you can see the picture so most of the vegetables are belongs to the solanaceae family okay so today we are going to see the solanaceae general characters okay then we will see the botanical description so solanaceae is otherwise called that is a potato family or nightshade family this is a one mark question okay so solanaceae otherwise called potato family or nightshade family so first we are going to see that is your systematic positions of the plant okay systematic positions we know very well so already we studied in the so previous chapter okay so what is the systematic position so bentham and hooker system of classification the kingdom is plantae okay which is belongs to the so kingdom is plantae class dicotyledonae you know very well what is the, what are the characters of dicots okay the first one that is your tap root system so another one that is a reticulate evinations okay so that is a pentamerous or tetramerous in conditions in the flower and it has the two cotyledons so these are all the characters of dicotyledonae okay so next one is a gamopetale so gamo means that is a united okay that is a united the petals are united okay that is a gamopetalous in conditions or sympetalous in condition okay so that is a gamopetale and series is a bicorpulate because it has a two corpels they have a two corpels bicorpulary in condition that is your order is a polymonials okay the order is belongs to that uh, polymonials otherwise uh, solanales okay but it's not solanales that is a polymonials in conditions okay next one is a solanaceae the family is a solanaceae okay this is the bentham and hooker system of classification that is a systematic position is very very important so this is they will ask in the two mark or three mark in the question okay so next the apg system of classification the kingdom is a plantae that's a clad is angiosperm so another clad is a eudicot and clad is astrids another one is a solanales and family is a solanaceae okay so this is the apg system of classification okay this is a system systematic position of the family solanaceae okay that's the first we study the one mark question so another one it may be a two mark or three mark they will ask okay so next we are going to see that's a general characters we know very well so the general characters we are going to see that is a habit okay root stem leaf okay inflorescence okay flower and and the calyx corolla androecium gynecium then uh, fruit seed these are all we are going to see in the general characters okay we can see the so many species so in the general characters so in the general character distributions the Uh, in the solanaceae it has a how many genera and species are there okay actually it has here so 88 genera and 2650 species are present okay how many genera it has a 88 genera and 2650 species are present okay so in that 2650 species the solanum is occupied the 1500 species okay ba so solanum species only the solanum species it is a largest genus okay so solanum trilobatum example for the first one is a genus and second part is a species okay so solanum consists of 1500 species in the group okay so among the 2 2650 species la 1500 species enna irukna solanum genus na irukku okay va solanum trilobatum solanum melongena appdin solrom liya so and the species full la 1500 the plants are worldwide in distributions but more abundant in the south america எல்லா இடத்துலையும் பரவி இருக்கு அப்படின்னு சொல்றோம் ஸோ பட் மெயினா எங்க அதிகமா இருக்கு அப்படின்னு பார்த்து தட் இஸ் இன் த சவுத் அமெரிக்கா விச் இஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் விச் இஸ் லிவிங் இன் த சவுத் அமெரிக்கா ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் பிலாங்ஸ் டு தட் ஃபேமிலி சொலனேசியே பிக்சர் ஓகே ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் வாட் இஸ் அ ஹேபிட் ஓகே ஹேபிட் மீன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் யோ it may be a trees or shrub or herb or anything okay so what about in the solanaceae families we can see the mostly annual herbs okay what is the annual herb they can complete the life cycle within a year is called the herbs okay so shrubs means it is a bushy in nature that is a shrubs and small trees okay it's not a very big tree it is a small trees so we can see that is your example for that is a small tree solanum violaceum that is a small solanum 
Violaceum. The name of the species Solanum violaceum. So next we are going to see that is a, another habit that is a lioness. Lioness you know very well that is a woody climbers. Okay. So that is a uh, Solanum trilobatum, lioness with brickles. Okay. So here the brickles are somewhat hard. So Solanum trilobatum. And next one is your root. Okay, the first we completed the habit. In the habit, we studied that only the so two species. So one is the Solanum violaceum. Solanum violaceum is a small tree. So and another one, there's a Solanum trilobatum. There is a lioness with the brickles. Okay, can you give the example for the brickles are present in the uh, Solanaceae uh, family? Solanum trilobatum. And next, what type of the root system? We know very clearly that is it belongs to the class Dicotyledonae. Okay, so it has a tap root system. So what is a tap root system? It has a main. So root, the main root is arised from the radical of the embryo, and from that we can they can give rise to your secondary and tertiary roots. Okay, that's a branched tap root system. Okay, ba. So nariya branches sirka kuriye or tap root. Tap root abdi naale the root is arised from the radical of the embryo. Okay. So this is a root of that is a potato. So here that is a tomato roots. The both of them are belongs to dicotyledonae. And next we are going to see the stem. Okay. So what about this is your potato? The potato is actually a, the portions of the stem. Okay. That's a stem tubers, the solanum tuberosum and solanum that is a trilobatum. So these are all the belongs to that family. Uh, that's all an ACA. Okay. So what about the stem of that is a potato? So it's a stem herbaceous and woody. Okay. Someone is a herbaceous, someone is a so woody or erect or twinning. In the mari Ella character so on the okay. Herbaceous means it has a so very soft in nature. So it consists of a small hairs are present. Okay. So woody, it's very, very, very strong. Okay. So erect, they can be erect above the ground level. That is a aerial. Okay, aerial means above the ground ground level. Level, erect abdina straight arga kudiyad. Twinning abdina rather they cannot be erect. They need some support. Okay, so they have to climbing the neighbor trees. Okay, so next one is a creeping. Creeping they have to so that is a spread over on the surface of the soil. That is a creeping. Ada soil mala padam dirka kudiyad ta creeping abdina solra. Okay, so sometimes modified into tubers. That is an example of the potato. Okay, the stems are modified to tubers to store the food materials. So ada vandha namma vandhi all food material ada store panni. The stem is modified to bulge. Okay, so nalla narrow arka kudiyad stem vandhi bulge arka kudiyad ka example vandhi enna abdina solanum tuberosum. And next one, the stem is covered with the spines. Okay, that is the example. Is a solana trilobatum is the example for that. So next, we are going to see the leaves. Okay. So uh, what are the functions of the leaves? We know very well that is used to prepare the food material. Okay. How the leaves are arranged? The leaves are arranged in the systematic manner. Okay. So that is called the phyllotaxy. We studied in morphology. So how here the leaves are arranged? That is here. So alternate in condition. So what is the alternate? Each node gives rise to a single leaf. That is the alternate in conditions. You can see here. So each node. Actually this is a compound leaves. Okay, this one the compound. Okay, so each node is gives rise to the leaves. This is the compound. Our can if one node is this is here one leaf. Okay, that is here uh, sub opposite in condition. Sub opposite na more or less one the opposite. Our can marry one. But this is the alternate in conditions now. Okay, so alternate na one leaf le rendu. So one node le rendu one leaf one the chena that is the alternate in conditions. If it gives the two leaves in the same node abdina that is the opposite in condition. Okay, that is the alternate simple. Okay, simple means that is the no modification. There is no modification in the leaf. Even the margin and everything is that is a simple way. Okay. Next one is a rarely pinnately compound. Okay. So pinnate abdina this is like a pinnate. That is a feather like structure. Okay. The mari thali this is a pinnate. Pinnate na feather like structure. So that is a pinnately compound leaf. Compound yeh solro na. So this is a compound leaf. This full away or a compound leaf. Actually the apne arranged ayir ko abdina. So that is arranged in. So this is here one compound leaf. Okay. So we can see the another compound leaf in the alternate conditions. In that la pata na inga or leaf. Okay. Here another compound leaves are arise. So that is the alternative in condition. 
okay so this is a alternative we can see only the one compound ipo ore or compound mattu da namba paakuro this compound is arranged on the main axis in the alternative conditions so that is a alternate simple rarely pinnately okay ellame vandu pinneva irukadu some of the species only having the pinnately arrangement that is a compound leaves compound leaves means we can see the a small leaflets on the main rachis so that is a compound leaves okay so next one this is the example for solanum tuberosum and another one is here lycopersicon esculentum okay so lycopersicon esculentum that is a tomato so next we are going to see that another characters of that is your leaves okay that is extuplate in condition so what is the stipules so stipules are present in base of the pedicels it is a stipules okay so if it has a leaf this is your leaf means in the base of the pedicel we can see the extra outgrowth so that is called a stipules if the stipules are present that is a stipulate okay the stipules are absent here so that is a extuplate stipules are absent ambuchana adukke enna peru that is a extuplate in condition okay so opposite or sub opposite in that is a upper part okay so extuplate opposite or sub opposite appadina leaves dhaan solrudhu okay va so leaves sometimes opposite ah irukalam illa koncham vandu mele thalli irukalam that is sub opposite or kile so more or less vandu upper or down in layer so adha dhaan enna solrudhu appadina opposite or sub opposite in upper part so unicostate reticulate venations unicostate means so all the leaflets are so arranged on the that is a basal region or all the le all the veins are arranged on the midrib midrib la irukka kudiya veins ella enna agum appadina so that is uh, uh, in the converged in conditions converged abingiradhu vandha enna margin la poi appadiye onnoda onnu adu vandu seendrum ella leaves enga main la irundhu aarambikka kudiya all the leaf all the veins they have to join together on the margin okay that is a unicostate reticulate venations okay but that is reticulate da so that spread over agade if it is spread over abina that is a multicostate reticulate venations okay already we study that is a types of venation la nam padichirukrom unicostate reticulate venations abingrade so the veins are arranged on the midrib but all the veins are that is a converged okay so that is uh, converged in the margin okay va so another one it is not converged that is a spread over it's look like our palm okay the veins are arranged from the palm palm la irundhu aarambichu so abbe spread over aagudiyadhu vandu that is a multicostate reticulate venations so what about here here unicostate reticulate venation is present okay so next one yellow is that is a veins that's not verb that is a veins are present okay that is a veins are present yellow is veins we can see the yellow is veins in the yellow is veins present in the solanum tuberosum okay solanum tuberosum potato oda leaf ninga paathina so adla veins la ninga paarenga that is yellow in color la vandirukku so that is yellow veins present in the solanum tuberosum in the family fabes uh, in the family solanaceae okay Uh, next we are going to see that inflorescence okay these are all the floral characters already we studied that say vegetative characters vegetative characters abingrade habit root stem and leaf actually root stem and leaves are that's a vegetative characters okay next we are going to see the floral characters so floral characters abingrade enga nu start aguna inflorescence la nu start agum so what type of the inflorescences are present in the solanaceae okay the solanaceae inflorescences are very 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 important we can see the different type of the inflorescence here okay the first one is a solitary or terminal cymose okay so what is one the, there is an axillary okay axillary abingrade vandha enna appadina axillary region la irundha aarambichana that is a axillary okay so where is the axil region actually axil, uh, axil regions are present between the node and internode already explained so node ku internode ku naduvula that is even and the angle la vandu flowers vandu arise aachu appadina that is called the axillary flower okay va that is a terminal it may be axillary avum irukalam illa terminal um irukalam okay va terminal abingrade a top of the branches okay top of the shoot or branches la varakudi and the flower ku peru terminal flowers okay so axillary or terminal that is a cymose in condition so what is the cymose already we studied the cymose and racemose difference okay so in the cymose it consists of a three flowers okay so it is a center flower is a older flower and either side flower is a younger flowers okay the first older flower is opening so younger flowers uh, that is followed by the older flower
or Enger class will be opening. That condition is called a Simos in conditions. It means we can see the center class are opening here. You can see very clearly. So either side we can see the that is a Younger flaws that is known as a cymos. So, what about in the racemos? The racemos is a indefined growth, okay. But cymos is the defined growth, and our growth on the center will stop by okay. Lateral side, la no idea. So, flaws or on the growth on the world. But what about in the racemos? Racemos la on the end of the So, bottom of the flaws are older flaws, and that young flaws are present in the top region, okay. So, that is a indefined growth. So, but what type of the inflorescence is present in the solanum that is here axillary flower okay axillary that is a cymos manner okay axillary larka kudiya flower cymos arikla terminal larka kudiya flower cymos arikla okay so that is your inflorescence the first one the second type of the inflorescence uh, in the solanaceae, solitary flowers. Okay, solitary means that is a single flower. We can see the ray or a flower matto, it may be axillary leo, illa terminal leo, irudhichana, that is a solitary flowers. Okay, solitary flowers example that is Tatura stramonium. Okay, Tatura stramonium that is a solitary flowers. It may be in the axillary region in the varla, illa terminal region le irukra. Okay. Yeah. So, but we can see here that is a axillary region. Illa in the axillary region le irukra parunga. So that is in the axillary region. So this is the axillary region. Okay. So that is the axillary flaws. So next extra axillary a scorpioid cyme is called rifidium. Okay. So this is your a different type of the inflorescence, a special type of the inflorescence. You can see the structure, the flow chart. Actually, the main floor is arise from the main floors, that's the secondary floor, then tertiary floor. So another floss, okay. All the type of the floss are arised from the before branch. Okay. So it's look like that is the path in a zigzag manner on the podi. Okay, in the zigzag manner, look at the type of inflorescence. Rifidium, the scorpioid cyme. Okay. So, this is also belongs to the cyme inflorescence. Cyme la in a type of inpathinga that is a scorpioid cyme. Scorpioid cymes are otherwise called that is a rifidium. That is a rifidium. This is a solanum americanum. The name of the species is there. Solanum americanum. So, what type of inflorescence in the solanum americanum? So, that is a rifidium. So, what is a rifidium? It is a scorpioid cyme. Okay. So next one is here, it's a solitary axillary that is a Dathura and Nicotiana, okay. So that is a Dathura plant, this is a Dathura. So here solitary and axillary flaws, already we studied the previous uh, uh, slide, that is axillary flaws, okay, axillary region, axillary flaws, okay. So this is here, that is a Dathura is also axillary flaws, okay, the both of them are solitary, now ray or flower matto on the chana, that is a solitary axillary flaws, okay. And another one is a umpelate sign, umpelate sign is a Vithania somnifera, the name of the species, Vithania somnifera, already I explained. So here we can see the different type of the inflorescence, okay. When a type of inflorescence la pathan parangam, the first one is a solitary flaws, that is a so axillary flaws, the axillary flaws it may be a terminal so or, or in the ax, uh, axillary or in the terminal in condition we can see the cymose type, cymose type that is a three flaws are present that is in the solanum. And next one we can see the solitary flaws, solitary flaws means we can see the single flaws it may be in the axillary or it may be in the terminal region, okay. So next one is a extra axillary and scorpioid sign, okay, this is a special type of the inflorescence that is a rifidium. So example solanum, americanum, so here the flowers are arised in the zigzag manner. So example, the best example for rifidium is a solanum, americanum. So next one is your nicotiana and datura, that is a solitary axillary. So next one is the umpelate cymes. So what is the main character of the umpelate cyme here? So all the pedicels are that's equal in length. Okay, the special characters of umpelate one day, so all pedicels are equal in length. So all the pedicels are arised from the a tip of the branch. Okay, so in that base of the pedicels we can see the that is a convolucer. Okay, the bracts number of bracts are together to forming a convolucer. So this is the convolucer. 
ஸோ இதெல்லாம் என்னது அப்படின்னா கன்வலூக்கஸ் இங்கே எல்லா பெடிசஸும் பாருங்கள் சேம் லென்த்தில் வந்து இருக்கும் ஓகேவா ஸோ என் நம்பர் ஆஃப் அம்பல் இஸ் டுகெதர் டு ஃபார்மிங் ஏ காம்பவுண்ட் அம்பல் நிறைய அம்பல்ஸ் மெயின் பிரான்ச்சஸில் இருந்ததுனா தட் இஸ் ஏ காம்பவுண்ட் அம்பல் பட் திஸ் இஸ் என்னது தட் இஸ் ஏ அம்பலைட் சைம் வித்தானியா சோமினிஃப்ரா இட் ஹாஸ் ஏ சிம்பிள் அம்பலைட் ஓகே So next we are going to see the floral characters. Okay, there's a flowers. So how the petals and sepals are arranged. So in the flowers, the first one is a bracteate. Okay, so bracteate means that is your, if it has a bract is present, that is called the bracteate. Okay, so if a bract is not, that is a e-bracteate. So now we are seeing the gentle characters. So the gentle characters, So bracteate, it is a bracteus prasanna, that is a bracteate. If there is no bract, that is called a e-bracteate. So where is the bract? So the bract is present in base of the pedicel, okay? If the stipules are present in the base of the petiole, this is present in the base of the pedicel, that is a bracteate or e-bracteate, okay? Pedicelate means if it has a pedicel is there, that is a pedicelate. If there is no pedicel, abdina, that is called a sessile in condition, okay? And bisexual flaws. So what are the bisexual flaws? If it has an andrusium and gynesium are present, you can see in the floral diagram, we can see the andrusium and gynesium. So, where is the andrusium? So, andrusium is the third wall of the flower, that is a male sex organ. Okay, so this is your andrusium male sex organ and this is your so gynesium, that is your female sex organ. So, next that is your heterochlamydios in condition. Heterochlamydios, that is the accessory walls can be differentiated. So it may be a calyx and corolla or being differentiate panna that is a heterochlamydios. If it is not differentiated, that is a monochlamydios in condition. Okay. So next pentamerous. Pentamerous means it has a five walls are present. Okay. So if all the any uh, uh, Soranaceous species, okay, most of the Soranaceous species are let's say pentamerous in conditions. So, pentamerous now five walls. So including the bracteoles, including the epicalyx, epicalyx, calyx, corolla, andrusium, and gynesium. Okay, next actinomorphic. So, what is the actinomorphic? We can divide the flower into two equal halves through any plane. So, in the pagatala by cut panalo, then equal cut pana murjuchana, that is your actinomorphic. We can cut the flower into two equal halves through any plane. Okay, that is your psychomorphic, that is your actinomorphic. If we can cut the flower into two equal halves through only one plane, Abdina, that is a psychomorphic in condition. Okay. So, actinomorphic flowers are there, psychomorphic flowers are there. Okay. Next one is here, due to the oblique positions of the ovary, that is a hypogynous in condition. Okay. The ovary, the presence of the ovary, ovary is some, uh, that is a slanting in position. Okay. So, that is a oblique position, that is a hypogynous in condition. Hypogynous means that is a superior ovary. Okay, so these are all the characters of the flaws. There's a gentle characters of the flaws. So next we are going to see the calyx. So how many sepals are there in the family of Fabaceae? Total family can mapakro, Fabaceae could be a species. So mostly when the sepals are five. Okay, that is a sin sepalus in condition. The sepals are united. The sepals are that is united, that is a sin sepalus. Okay. So that is a valvate. Valvate persistent. That is a valvate in condition. Sin sepalus, that is a valvate. Valvate bring the so all the sepals are they have to just touch to one another. Okay, that is a valvate estivation. If it is overlapping, that is called a twisted estivation. Okay. So, that is a valvate persistent example, Solanum Americanum. So, another one is a crescent, that is a physalis, physalis, that is a chodakatakali, so this one that is a physalis, physalis la pathing abdina. So, calyx are totally covered the fruit, okay. So, that is a crescent in type, just you have to open the calyx, then only you can see the fruits, adhukaparana adha paka mudiyo. So that is a crescent in type because the calyx one the, the fruit form on the kapra the ulla irundu kittu kadanala a crescent appdi nama solrom okay so idha manathakali idha chodakathakali appdi solrom in tamil name so next one is a corolla okay how the corolla is formed the corolla is formed by the petals okay a number of petals are together to forming the corolla so these are all the uh, uh, flowers that belongs to the solanaceae family we can see the, the beautiful colors of the 
petals in the Solanaceae family. So how many petals are there? It has here five petals. Okay, the five petals are united, so that is a sympetalous in conditions or gamopetalous in conditions. If it is uh, distinct to each other, abdina, that is a polypetalous. So same there is a gamopetalous in condition. Okay, it's a tubular. Tubular means it looks like that is here uh, the base of the petals. Okay, so the basal regions are look like that is a uh, tubular in nature. And that is uh, in the uh, mouth is look like a bell shaped. That's a atropa, it's a bell shaped in structure. An infant form that is a petunia, so that is your uh, mo more or less that is your tube like structure. So, we cannot see the very as a wide mouth in the infant form, okay. Usually alternate with the sepals, okay. The sepals are that is a alternative in condition that is a bilipid. So, some the petals are divided into two portions, okay. So, one is the three petals join and two petals, so that is a bilipid in conditions. So next one is a psychomorphic, even the petals also that is arranged in the psychomorphic or it may be an actinomorphic in conditions, okay. Psychomorphic, abdina, we can be so divided the flower, okay, into two equal halves, abdina, so and next one that is a valvate estivation. So valvate estivation is already explained. So that all the petals they have to just touch to one another. It is not overlapping. If it is overlapped, that is called that is a twisted estivation. And sometimes there is a convolute in the datura. Datura is look like a so speaker when they have to old time there is a speaker. That is a convoluted in structure. Okay. So next we are going to learn that is the essential wall of the floor. So what are the essential walls that is androsium and gynosium are called essential walls. So first we are going to see the androsium that is a male sex organ. So the androsium is made up of a number of stamens. So how many stamens are present in the, in the Solanaceae family, okay. So all the species mostly it consists of five stamens, okay. So all the stamens are attached to any floral parts. If it is attached on the petals, that is called the epipetalous stamens. If it is attached on the, that is your sepals, that is a epicepalous stamens, If it is attached on, that is a tepals, that is known as a epiphyllous stamens, okay. So epipetalous stamens, epicepalous stamens, epi, that is a fillous stamens or tepalous stamens, okay. But what about here? This is a epipetalous stamens. So in the datura, datura plant la pathinga abdina, so in the corolla, in this petals, so all the stamens are attached to the petals, especially that is attached in the so middle part of the corolla. Corolla would a middle part la full of the that is attached. Okay, so that is called the epipetalous stamens. And the filaments are usually unequal in length, okay. So the filaments more or less the short or long filaments are present. Okay, mixed together we can see in the uh, there is a Solanaceae species, okay. So epipetalous stamens are very important character in the Solanaceae. And next we can see the only two stamens in Sysanthus. Actually it consists of the five stamens. The two stamens are that is here fertile stamens and three stamens are that is a staminode. So what is the fertile stamen? The stamens that is involved in the sexual reproduction. So that is your fertile stamens, okay. And another three stamens that is, that is your look like a, so it's a perfect but it's not involved in the fertilization, okay. That is your staminode. So what about the anthers? So the anthers are dithicus. So dithicus means, so in that anther regions are divided into two part. It has here two thicas are present. So when we have to divide the cross section, we can see the four lobed, okay. Two thicas na four lobed. It is single thica means we can see the so two lobed, okay. That is a tetrasporangia in condition, I bisporangia in conditions. Rendu lobed irundhu chana, bisporangia. So four lobes in the china that is a tetrasporangia in conditions. So degesens longitudinally or posedal. Okay, longitudinally means so if it is present like that. Okay, this is a longitudinal abdina. So in the mari open on this is a longitudinal. Okay, but some of the uh, anther consists of small pore like structure is there. Okay, through the spores they have to liberate the so pollen grains. Okay, that is your so pore. So we studied about that is your. Uh, androsium is over, then we are going to see the gynesium. So what is a gynesium? Gynesium is a so female sex part of the flower, okay. So gynesium is made up of a number of carpels together to form a gynesium. 
So it consists of a bicorpulary in condition. So how many corpuscles are there? It has a true corpus. Okay. The true corpuscles are united to each other. So that is called a syn corpus in condition. Okay. The bicorpulary due to the false septum, bicorpulary nadula or false septum on the form ago. So then only that is look like a tetralocular in condition. But actually it has a bicorpulary in condition. So what about in the superior ovary, the ovary is a superior ovary that is a hypogynous in condition. So superior means that is ovary is located above the calyx, corolla and androsium. Okay. So bilocular but it look like a tetralocular due to the formations of the false septum that is we can see very clearly in the Dathura species. Numerous ovules in each locule on axial placentations. Actually, it has a more lo more locules and more seeds are there. It is formed as a axial placentations. Okay, the placenta is a form. There is a special tissue that is formed from the so center to the margin. So that is an axial placentation. If it is arranged from the margin to the center, that is a parietal placentation. Okay. So next, we are going to see the fruit. Okay, so what type of the fruit in the Solanaceae family? So it may be a capsules or berry. Okay, so berry means it has a fleshy or sometimes it is a rough in condition. But we can see the more seeds inside the so endocarp. We can see the more seeds inside the fruit. That is a capsules or berry. Okay, so example for that is a datura petunia. It belongs to that. That's a berry type. And next one is your. Lycopersican esculentum is another example for berry. So then capsicum, okay, we can see the uh, different colors of the capsicum, that is a hybrid variety. So we can see the more seeds inside the fruit, that is a berry type. So we completed the general characters of the family Solanaceae, okay. So we can recall once again what we studied. So first we studied the general characters and before we must know about the systematic position. So what is the systematic position of that is a Solanaceae family. The first one is a kingdom that is belongs to the plantae and class Dicotyledonae, subclass is a Gamopetalae, series Bicorpulatae, order Polymonials, family Solanaceae. Okay. So the Solanaceae is otherwise called that is a potato family or nightshade family. And general characters, how many species are present and how many genera in the family. So it has a 88 genera and 2650 species are present. Okay. But what about in the Solanum species? Solanum genus 1500 species. Okay. So 2650 or 1500 species are Solanum. That is a genus belongs to Solanum. So Solanum melongina, Solanum trilobitum, Solanum lycopersicon, Solanum that is your uh, Americana, okay, so many species are present. So the plants are worldwide in distributions, okay. So everywhere they have to present, especially in the South America, we can see the more species that belongs to the, uh, that is a Solanaceae family. So next, what about the habit, that is an annual herb. So example for the small trees, that is a Solanum violaceum. And another one is a lioness with the brickles, that is an example Solanum trilobatum. And what type of the root is present here? That is a taproot system. That is a branched taproot system. So what is a taproot system? The taproot system is arised from, that is a radical of the embryo. Then the stem, okay, the stem is, it may be herbaceous or woody, okay, that is a erect or twinning, okay. Even the creeping also present in the family, that is a solanaceae. So which one is, which stem is modified into the tubers, that is a solanum tuberosum. Okay. The stem is covered with the spines in the Solanum trilobatum. And what is the arrangement of the leaves? Actually, the leaves are ar arranged in the alternative in conditions. Okay. Each node has a single leaf and it is a simple leaf. There is no modification in the lamina, so that is called a simple leaf and rarely pinnately compound. Okay. So the leaves are pinnate, that is a feather like structure, that is a compound leaf means, so even each rash is consists of a small leaflets. So that is arranged in the alternative in condition. And we can see the Solanum tuberosum, Lycopersican esculentum is like, is alternative in condition. And next we can see the yellowish veins in the Solanum tuberosum. So extrapolate means there is no stipules are there. 
okay. So, the arrangement of the leaves it may be opposite or sub opposite in condition that is a unico state okay. It is not a multi co state, multi co state means the leaves uh, leaflets are that is a yeah, spread over actually the veins are spread over in the margin. And next inflorescence okay. So, inflorescence uh, we have a different type of the inflorescence the first one is a yeah, axillary steriminal that is a cymose in condition example is a yeah, solanum. And next one is a solitary floss that is a Zathura stramanium. So, next one that is a extra axillary scorpioid sign that is a Rhyphidium solanum americanum. It is very, very important one more question. So, can you give the example for ripi, uh, Rhyphidium inflorescence? And next one is a solitary axillary that is a Zathura and Nicotriana. So, umplate sign is a Vithania sominifera. So, in the umplate sign we can see the equal length of the that is your pedicels. We can see the equal length of the pedicels in umpalate. And floss that is a bracteate, e bracteate, okay. So, pedicellate means pedicels are present, bisexual, the male and female sex organs are present, heterochlamydios, that is a calyx and coral are differentiated. So, pentamerous, it has here five holes are present. Actinomorphic means we can divide the flower into two equal halves. Psychomorphic bring the two equal halves through only one plane. Okay. So, another what type of the ovary is there? That is a superior and hypogynous ovaries are present. Next to calyx, it is sepals are five, that is a sin sepalus. So, what is the important character that is a crescent? The physalis, the calyx totally closed with the fruit. Okay. Another one is a valvate persistent solanum americano. So, valvate that is a arrangement of the sepals. Okay. So, persistent that is a solanum americanum. And next corolla that is a petals or five that is a sim petalus. Okay. Here the calyx also united and the corolla also. So, all the sepals are united, all the petals are united. Okay. That is a rotate. We can rotate the so tubular like structure. Okay. And the, and the corolla will be rotate. Okay. So, we easily separated from the, so that is a sexual organ like the, separate eye. So, that is a bell shaped infundibuli form and usually alternate with the sepals. Okay. That is a uh, the sepals are alternative in conditions. Okay. So, so uh, the male uh, androsium, gynesium, so the alternative are arranged. So, rarely bilipped. So, bilipped means corolla is divided into two half, two halves on the beringer. It is a zygomorphic, that is an example of cysanthus. Okay. So, that is actinomorphic, uh, we can tell in that uh, datura, zygomorphic example on the cysanthus. And that is a convolute example also, datura. And the androsium, that is the epipetal stamens are very, very important characters. And uh, how many stamens are fertile in the cysanthus? It has two stamens are fertile and three stamens are staminode in condition. So, next anthers are diticus. It has a two chambers, but we can see the four lobes are there. Okay. So, it is a degesens in sand, longitudinally in conditions. Longitudinally, no, that is a, so lateral lobe open longitudinally. And posidal means, so in the anther, the tip of the anther has a small pore through this way, so the, the spores are libera liberated. And gynesium, it is a bicorpulary in condition, it has a two corpals, but it looks like a four locules are there due to the false septum. And fruit, that is a capsule or berry. Okay. So, capsules example Datura, Betunia, Lycopersic and Esculantum and another one is here Capsicum. And what about that uh, next we are going to see the botanical descriptions we will see tomorrow. So, I hope uh, children you could understand. Okay. If you have any doubt you have to ask in that uh, WhatsApp. So, I hope uh, it is going very well. Um, thank you so much for your support. Okay. Keep on watching our channel give your support to us. Thank you children.